Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day and today's video is about the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick Dupe for $1. So this is a fake version of the real thing. The real one is $24 at Sephora or Smashbox, Smash, Smashbox.com. <laughs> so I found this one on AliExpress for a dollar plus a dollar shipping, so really $2. And we're going to try it out today and see how it is. I've been trying to find something for a cheaper price that works really well. So far everything on AliExpress pretty much sucks. But we're going to try this one out today because Smashbox is something that I can never afford myself. $24 for something so tiny seems ridiculous. So today we're going to test out the fake one and see how it is. And see if it's easy to come off, see if it's good texture, blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm not afraid of... Okay, so we are going to do two things in this video. One, we are going to apply this to my lips, let it dry down, see if it dries down at all. It's supposed to be really matte. And then we're going to try to take it off as well, because a lot of times with the fakes, it is so hard to get off. We're going to see if this one's a lot easier or, you know, whatever. Also, I'm going to show you a close-up of the box and unit for the fake so that you can spot your own fake. If you see one or you see someone selling online, yeah. Now I usually do real versus fake videos, I think I have 14 of them right now, I will leave a link to that playlist in the description box below, but I don't have a real one right now, but I will get to it. If you guys want to see it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and I will certainly do that. Let's go ahead and do the close-ups of this unit before we put it on my lips. Okay, so here is the little packaging. This is the box. I have the shade Babe Alert because I really thought it was a cute kind of mauve tone, kind of like a berry color. You can see it also has the barcode and all that. So to use defined lips with precise lip tip, fill in color, wipe off with oil-based remover. Sheesh. So I'm not going to remove it with an oil-based remover. I really think your lipstick should be able to come off normally. This is eight hours of wear. Okay. This is the actual little unit itself, so it looks kind of big compared to what you think it, it looks like online. I'm telling that this area of plastic clearness right here is way different than the real one which has the much smaller area of plastic around it. This is the bottom of it. That sticker looks so fake and so cheap. And yeah, this is just a little unit we're going to open up. Gosh, that was so hard. It has a teardrop type of applicator. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to swatching this thing. Okay, I zoomed you in so uncomfortably close to my face. This little unit here, so all the fakes that I've tried smell like candy. This one doesn't really have a smell. It's a very, very light smell. I don't like these applicators, so if I do a crappy job, I'm sorry. But we're gonna go ahead and swatch this thing. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like anything. So first impressions, it looks really opaque. It's going on evenly and smoothly, which is a pleasant surprise. This teardrop applicator is a lot pointier and then like kind of square at the top and not what I'm used to. This looks gorgeous. I was expecting to hate this like so much. But it's so cute. It's drying down already. You guys, I've never liked an AliExpress product other than like a headband or something. Now, I don't recommend buying fakes because you never know what chemicals are inside of them. However, I'm taking a chance for y'all to see how it is, you know. But, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised so 
far. Like, it could be terrible taking off. I don't know. My lips will feel fine. They feel a little bit drying so far. Uh, on this side where it's more dry, it, it's a little drying. It's not, like, drastic, though. So I'm not... No, I'm not miserable with it. This is what it looks like up close. It's very true to its color in the container. Okay, so it's drying a little bit unevenly. I can see a little bit of streakiness up on the top corners of my mouth. But... It doesn't look, <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, really. For being a dollar, two dollars. Like, it needs some touch-ups. You can see it's not perfectly opaque. It's not driving evenly in color. Like, some areas seem darker than others. Why am I doing this and talking? Um, yeah, it's not bad. So I'm going to let this dry completely. And then I'll be right back to take it off and then give you my final thoughts about this makeup. Alright, it has been about three minutes. I just wanted to let it dry completely matte. I'm going to go ahead and do like the finger test and see if anything comes off. There's a couple little flakes of uh, lipstick on my finger, but nothing like terrible. It's about as much as you expect from a ColourPop match. Just a couple little specks here and there. I'm going to go ahead and take a baby wipe and try to remove this lipstick. We will see how it looks in a minute. All right, removing it now. Alright, the lipstick is removed. I got this whole area red now. I'm just taking a little bit of the beauty blender and rubbing it in. But it kind of, it hurts. Like, my lips feel really raw. I know it said oil-based makeup remover, don't get me wrong, but my lips hurt. And I have removed a lot of liquid lipsticks in my day that are really long lasting. Say they last like 12 hours and things like that. And they never hurt like this. My lips tingle right now. It feels so raw. I don't... It hurts to stretch them out. I'm going to put some lip balm on. This one's by Camille. Back him. But it hurts. It hurts. I just. You see it? They hurt. They feel kind of puffy hurt. It hurts to rub them together. Why is this? It was really hard to remove. You guys saw me trying to take it off. It was so dry. Like, dry. When it dried down completely, my lips felt dry, but it wasn't like insane feeling. But this feels so... Feels like puffy, hot, burny feeling raw. So my final thoughts is that my mouth fucking hurts and I can't put any other lipstick on for the rest of the day. Um, it looked beautiful. It's cute for a picture. Yeah, sure. You don't know what chemicals are in it. It hurts to take off. Your lips are going to feel like mine afterwards and you don't want that. I don't recommend this product. I was really presently surprised with how this felt. Like, applying it, it just... My mouth hurts, y'all. It felt great. It looked great when I put it on. But trying to remove it is not worth it trying to look like an expensive color. There's so many other lipstick options that are affordable and don't hurt your mouth when you remove them. I would not purchase this product. I don't recommend anybody buying this product. My mouth hurts so freaking bad. It stings. And you guys know what it feels like when your mouth like hurts. All you can think about. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more fake videos like this one or more real versus fakes, which are coming soon. I put out five videos a week, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!